as your bearing. Hey guys, welcome to the part two episode of our supercharger disassemble video. In this episode, we're gonna show you how to actually remove the bearings from the supercharger housing, that's the needle bearings all the way down here. We're going to make a special tool today. We're gonna give you all the details on how to make the special tool. We're gonna make it with you on the video. It's gonna be very interactive. You can get all this stuff on your own or you can actually buy the tool from us and just buy the Harbor Freight collet puller on your side. But this tool will definitely work very easily for taking out the bearings on the supercharger. Here is the tool we are gonna make. Uh, this is a Harbor Freight collet puller here this piece right here. We'll leave the part number and information on how to purchase that in the description below, as well as in this video. This piece of aluminum here, we purchased from McMaster Car. We're gonna put a hole in it. This bolt here, we're actually gonna make, and then we purchase the washer and the nut. So I'm gonna go over all the components that we're gonna need to buy, and we're gonna get to work. The first thing we're gonna purchase here is the aluminum bar from McMaster Car. The information is on the screen for the part number and where to buy it. So we're gonna purchase this piece of aluminum here from McMaster Car. We are gonna purchase this bolt as well here from McMaster Car. Information on the screen. Okay, we got the bolt. We're gonna grab these hardened washers as well from McMaster Car. It unfortunately comes in a pack like this, but they're very inexpensive. So I'm just gonna pull one out here. There's a washer. We're gonna buy a pack of these nuts here from McMaster Car as well. Information on the screen. And finally, from Amazon, we're going to buy this M12 by 1.5 die here. You can get it from wherever you want, but Amazon was relatively inexpensive. If you do not have a die holder, you're going to need that as well. We have one, so we're not gonna buy one. So here's everything we're gonna need today, um, excluding the actual collet puller from Harbor Freight, which you can purchase from Harbor Freight. This one works the best, but you probably can use another set from Amazon or whatever, but this is what we're gonna use in the video, so we recommend purchasing this one. First thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna go in the shop and we're gonna measure the center of this plate here and we're gonna drill a hole. Second, we're gonna cut this bolt and we're gonna re-thread it with this die and then we're gonna put the tool together. First thing here, we're gonna mark the center of this plate here. So this thing is six inches long. So here's our three here. And then what is the width here? 1.5, so three quarters, which is here. And that's the center. So we're gonna put a little mark here. And by little, I mean big. Here's our calipers. We're gonna measure this bolt here. It's an M12 bolt. So M12 turns out to be 0.465. So we're gonna need something a little bit bigger than that. All right, so the closest size I have here is 31 64ths, and that comes out to be f like 483, 484. So that leaves us just shy of 20 thousandths of clearance, so that's perfect. We're gonna go over the drill press, we're gonna drill this out, we're gonna deburr it, and then we're gonna do the bolt. All right, we fixed this in our vise here. Got a drill bit, now we're gonna drill through. Now we're going to deburr it. So now we're going to cut our bolt. We're going to cut it just past the head here. You can use an angle grinder if you want. I'm tired of using the angle grinder for stuff like this. This is the tool of choice for me. So you guys use whatever you want. All right, now we're gonna take this bolt out. We're gonna just debar it on the grinder real quick and then we're gonna go to tapping. Now we're gonna grab our die. We're gonna grab our die holder and we're gonna lock us in the vise and we're gonna thread it. Here's our bolt in the vise. We're gonna put a little oil on here. Please use oil. If you do not, you will ruin the threads. Here's our die and die holder. And let's get this going. 
This is a very, very high-end material, so it's very strong, very hard. So you wanna make sure you do a good job. We chose this bolt for a reason. Now you wanna go about an inch and a half roughly down. We're almost there. All right, that's what it looks like. We're gonna clean this off in the parts washer. I'm gonna meet you back up in the front table. So we're gonna put this together and show you how to use it. So this is the part you're gonna be using from Harbor Freight as is. You have the collet here, you have the expander here, and then you have this little adapter that came with the Harbor Freight fitting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna screw this all the way in just like that. And here's the piece we just made. So the threads that we just made are gonna go into here. And don't worry if it's not in the center, it doesn't matter, it's just gotta be strong. Boom, done. All right, so I wanna give you an idea of what this looks like and how this works so you don't make any mistakes when you install this. So here is the actual bearing that's in the uh, supercharger housing. So it's like this down in there. So let's for a second imagine that this is down in the supercharger. So the way this works, obviously it slides on like that, this sits on the bottom. As you tighten the collet, it expands and it grabs the bottom just like that. And then we're gonna use the tool we just made to pull it up and out. We have the supercharger here. The first thing you have to do is just like this looks here, you have to gut it. So there's a cage in there with little needles in there. Make sure you get the cage out, all the little bits and all the needles. Any needles left in there will not allow you to pull it out and you might damage something. So make sure that you get everything out. If you have to clean it out a bunch of times, use a magnet or whatever, make sure you get everything out so it looks just like this on the inside. I think I got all the needles out here. Here's part of the cage here. This one's really rusty, so this one's gonna be a pain to get out. Okay, looks like we got everything. Here's everything we got out, plus the needles. Here's our tool. Remember, we gotta expand it in the hole, and let's do that now. Okay, feels pretty good. Here's our block of aluminum, right on top like that. Here's our washer. And now something that you should do is add a little oil or a little grease to this thread, which I'm gonna do right now. And by a little, I mean a lot. All right, so you could either do this by hand or you could use an impact driver. I'm gonna use an impact driver, but for those of you who are nervous about damaging anything, do it by hand for your first try. All right, we're gonna use a 19 millimeter socket for this nut. Put a little pressure on it. Okay. This one's gonna be a little stubborn just because it's very rusty. So I have the torch here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat up the back a little bit. Really don't wanna get it more than 200 degrees. Okay, she's moving. I'm gonna need a deep 19 to finish this off. Okay. There's your bearing. Right there, done. So this will come out pretty easily. Done. Empty. So what you wanna do is do a thorough full cleaning here and to install the new bearings. If you weren't confident enough to make this tool at home, you can definitely buy it from us as well. That will just include everything we make today, excluding the Harbor Freight setup, which you'll have to purchase at Harbor Freight. So you can purchase this from us already done if you do not want to make it. Stay tuned to our next episode. We're gonna install the new case bearings and assemble the supercharger. Visit our new website, catch you later.